Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Ready for another great video? Let's get started. So today I am going to actually show you how to make this car. This car is actually a wheel car. See, all the parts are turning. And then I think this uh, uh, this stamp set is uh, is really cute, and that you can um, make a lot of a different kind of project. And this one I put the uh, eye in a little bit high. Happy belated birthday! So because it's all the butts, right? So I'm gonna show you how to make this wheel car. It's actually pretty simple and easy, and. Uh, have you watched my other tutorial? Um, let me show you what did I do with the, the, the other car project. Remember this uh, um, double Z car? The idea was to come from Kathy from California. Kathy, Kathy made me a beautiful car with a hummingbird. So I got this idea and make this super size uh, um, double double folding car. If you like to learn how to make this car, just go to Local King um, online DVD library or YouTube channel. And then when you see this car, you just click the car, it will bring you to the YouTube. And uh, look, the background that was, uh, that was used, I was using the spray background is a new background stamp. I have uh, um, I have created a lot of uh, new videos for the 2024 new release. If you haven't got a chance uh, to check it out, make sure you check it out. And then um, here is another car project and uh, is also ready to view from our online DVD library. So sling line size car, you don't have to make a sling line. You, I mean, the sling line background stamp or combo set, you don't have to make it just for sling line car size. You can make a big one and a small one. And then in my previous tutorial, I've been showing you too many different kinds of possibility. So we are attacking, uh, we are accepting the pre-order for the, all the 2020 new design. And I have uh, put a lot of a uh, combo um, uh, bundles to, uh, and there is a great promotion. Most of the, uh, all the 2024 new release pre-order is uh, um is a, a free shipping and uh, make sure you check it out try to combine order with your friend and then you get a better deal that way okay so that's uh we are going to use this uh, no uh no buts about it it's a very cu cute set and uh, like i say you can do a lot of things and uh, we have the matching die to go with it all the, the uh combo set die cut after 2018 they all come with the double die cut so they have an outline die they have a detail die and then i have uh, this beautiful elephant uh border this border can do a lot of different kind of um uh, arrangement you can use as a border you can do inside and look how pretty it is and also this one and the recently in my last tutorial hmm, that was tutorial 185 i just realized you can cut any size of die cut without uh, using like a um like a big shot plus die cut there is a way to cut a die cut without use a die cut machine if you like it um, make sure you check it out the uh, tutorial number 185 i think and about uh, i will create a more tutorial to show you how to do that it's a great tip for you i just purchased a big shot plus because i thought if i want to cut a larger size uh, die cut i have to have a bigger platform but I just figured I just figured out something that you don't need to. There is a way to do that, and uh, I will create a video to show you. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to Local Kings YouTube channel. And the once in a while in my video, I actually provide extra discount code for our viewers only. Okay, so that's the start today's uh, um, tutorial. It's going to be fun, and uh, I am doing a little bit slightly adjustment. And uh, every video that I create, I always try to share some great idea with you. We have uh, more than 200 videos ready to view at the uh, Local King's uh, online DVD library. I also just uh, create a Local King rubber stand uh, fans on the Facebook. So if you like to upload your artwork, make sure you just uh, follow us uh, on the Facebook. So that way you can upload your artwork uh, to the Local King's uh, Facebook pages. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, first, before we start, let's talk about the paper. I did a paper uh, review for like a 10 different kind of paper, which one is good for what. So 
Local King's Rubber Stamp, some, um, some of them they are very popular as a, a shadow stand. The shadow stand, you just uh, call it the same, you stand. Some of them is the detail stand. And then because of this sling line um, size uh, rubber stand, it's kind of big. And then sometimes you got to stamp two times to be able to get the best image. And then I, um, I, I have a stamp positioner, so sometimes I just use a stamp positioner. But uh, if you don't have a stamp position, uh, you know, you got to make sure that you have a good quality car stock. So I have a pre stamp view of the image. I try to use the uh, Kensan water paper that definitely you need to stamp two times because I like to um, use a good quality car stock. I found out 65 pounds, 90 pounds, not 80 pounds paper usually are like a too thin. So Kensan uh, Kensan watercolor car stock or the media car stock, Bristol car stock, they are all, all they are like 120 pounds. So they are good quality cars that but the, but unfortunately the watercolor paper is not really smooth so sometimes when you stamp you really don't get a, like a very very detailed image if your stamp is very simple or just to have a like a outline like this okay you don't have to worry about that but uh, i have uh, explained to you what's different between local kings stamp because the local kings stamp have a lot of shading area so if you want to get the best stamp image you got to make sure that you use a good quality car style nina paper is a good car uh, quality car style and the uh, paper cut uh, dog glossy matte coat car style they all good cost car style and i just want to show you if you don't have stamp position uh, um you you are not able to stand like a two time in the same place, right? So this is a paper cut um, dull glossy, and it's only one time stamp. I got all the detail. You can find these glossy paper from paper cuts the website, or you can find it from Marcos. Uh, website they are US company so the shipping is much reasonable than I send the paper to you from Canada because uh, or shipping is really costly so and then this one is uh, the the Kensan uh, media car stock is smooth and the, but also you got to stamp two times and the ink is also very important um, the VersaFine is a really good uh, impact that stays on but I found out if you want to stamp on the um, good quality car stock like a watercolor car stock you got to stamp two times so think about it if you have the budget I really highly recommend you if you can purchase one stamp positioner um, that would be great but uh, well sometimes still having problems when I use a stamp uh, position uh, you just uh, don't I have to stamp a few times but the, the paper is very important got to make sure that you use a good quality car stock so I have a pre um, pre stamp few of them because uh, uh, because the thickness so what is your favorite car stock um, if you like to share with me that would be great write down what's the what kind of car stock do you use you get like the best uh, image so far I found out the paper cards, the dog glossy and the matte glossy, they are really good quality cards that they can really show you the detail. But the problem is those are cold, cold cards that they can't really blend. So they are good for the like a shadow stand, like a one time stand. But if you want to do like a detailed stamp, I found out they don't really blending well on the cold car stock. Okay, so for the blending, like I say, watercolor paper or like a media, like a multimedia media paper from Michaels, I think that's a place that you can find the much easier or do the embossing. Okay, so I really pre-stamped it and then I am going to do the die cut and um, this die cut is awesome because uh, they just one die, all the butts falling off. So, and the oh, die cut is really detailed, kind of just like an eyeball. That if you have been following my video, you probably already know I usually die cut it first before I color it. The reason is that sometimes if you accidentally move a little bit, you kind of ruining all the hard work you, you did for coloring. So I die cut first, and then if it's not good, I stand one more time and and then and then call, uh, and then call it. Uh, but uh, so that's just uh, my hobby. I like to do that. So I go to cut it. I will be right back. 
Okay, so even though this is a 120 pounds uh, car stock and uh, it's uh, just uh, so easy, all the butts are falling off. And then this is a really cute set. You can do a lot of different kind of cards. Okay, so just remember the grass and then um, those dotting, it will, it will not to be cut because they are just uh, too fine. So I have uh, all my butts here. And then you can do your calling or do whatever, even that three little bird. Um, where did my birds go? I already lost one. So I save my birds here. So one, two, two birds. Oh, here, three. Okay, so I have all my three birds here. In this one, you can save it. We can do something else. Okay, for the coloring, you can use uh, your markers to do the coloring, but uh, I am the person really don't like to spend too much time for coloring. So I'm going to just uh, fast forward it. How I coloring, okay? So I'm going to use uh, the magic mushroom, like uh, this tree. You take a look in the back. It is a lot of uh, cutting. So see, just one wrong, they all come off. Very good quality um, die cut. So they, they cut everywhere. Okay, so save the tree and let's just clean our table here. Okay, so the coloring. The coloring um, is just so easy. Okay, so let's bring the my camera a little bit closer here. Okay. So follow uh, the, for the coloring, if you like to use the markers, feel free to do that. I just uh, like to fast resolve and uh, we just use the, the magic mushroom with any kind of dye base impact and then kind of just gently tap that some color on top. And then that's how I coloring and we can even blending. See, that's how I color. Oh, grab a piece of paper. Is that uh, cute? Okay, so that's the most uh, easiest way we can um, do to coloring. So you just follow your color instead. Like an elephant, we kind of just use a gray color and I'm going to just use my um, black um, black magic mushroom. Kind of just a gentle, oh, I don't want to wasting my nice uh, car stock. So just kind of gently brush a little bit color on top. It can be easier than this. And then we give it a little bit purple highlight. And you can see I always uh, kind of testing my color before I do that. And the all the die cut, I see these little tail is a pop out. But this time we don't want the tail a pop out because we are making the wheel, right? We don't want the tail cut uh, when, when it turn. Okay, and then for the Reno, kind of gray color. For the zebra, it's kind of black and white, but that does give it a little bit blue, just give it a little bit shading. And then for the ostrich, we just do a little bit brown. Okay, and then put a little bit darker brown around it. And uh, for our lion, we do a little bit yellow. See, I don't really go deeping my um, magic mushroom. I just use the color that I already on the mushroom. Okay, uh, hippos, purple, or a little bit black. And uh, my, see, that's uh, how I color them. Isn't that fast and easy? So let's uh, do a little bit ostrich color, just to give a little bit brown or black and then tree okay. so one light color one dark, dark color so that's my tree and then the darker color okay see how easy it is and then before we move to the next step Okay, I'm going to just grab these pumpkin color. 
all my animal, um, animals, I kind of just uh, give a little bit touch around the border. Okay, just to kind of create a little bit shading. Okay, and uh, brown is good color. Okay, this is zebra. Okay, and uh, a little bit tree and the, the, the tree trunk. I'm going to just uh, use uh, my mushroom just to give a little bit brown. If it's not enough, we add a little bit more. Do you like to do the coloring, like those kind of doodling stuff? Do you find out they are relaxing? Um, let me know. Me, I can't like play. I, I'm, I'm kind of person like a, I can't say I, I have a patient for like a art coloring, but I, I really don't, I really don't have a patient to do like a puzzling, like a quilting, those kind of stuff. Um, my husband is in the construction business. Uh, like uh, I, I can never become a construction business because you always have to have a patient to deal with those trade. Like uh, they, you have they, they is like really slowly build out the stuff. That's what I, I don't have. I, I really don't have a patient. I like to like a bada bang blue and down and move on. Okay, so that's how I color all my uh, all my animals. I'm going to show you a quick look. I'm going to sh and then we are going to moving on our wheel. This is, uh, I think, the hardest part. And uh, see all the butts. He's an awesome. And then you can do a lot of different kind of arrangement and make a all different kind of car. I think that's just uh, fun. Okay, so that's the move to our next. So that's just uh, put the. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, yellow here and uh, we have to working on the sunset color or if you want to working on the like a uh, nighttime that will work too. I'm going to grab a orange. Okay, so that's going to be our sunset color plus a little bit Okay, so the foundation car size is going to be 5.5 by 5.5. That's the brown car. And then the red, the first layer is going to be by 5.25 by 5.25. And then this side, this orange uh, and uh, oh, this is actually for the inside is a 5.5 by 5.5. And then I have uh, this one, the orange one. Um, I'm going to change it to this ochre color. So it's a five by five. And then I have uh, the other circle. So first, that's a star or circle first. That's a grab or a large circle. Okay, so I have my circle here. And then the first, uh, the large one, I think this one is too big. This one is too big too. Okay, this one, I think that's the one. Okay, so what's the size for the circle? The first circle is 4.5 by 4.5. Okay, so the first circle is 4.5 by 4.5. And then the second one supposed to be 4.25, okay, by 4.25 by 4 point, like a di diameter and four okay so we need a three circle okay so here is what i'm going to do i th i think i show it before okay let's do that the first one is a 4.25 we have a three okay so we're going to cut this uh this one first Okay, so this is the the paper is a four uh, is a five by five, right? And then this is circle is a four point five by four point five. Sorry, the, why I keep saying that is a four point five the diameter. Okay, so we're going to die cut it first. Okay, in the next I have I showed before how to get the, like a perfect uh, um, layer ring. 
when you want to cut it like a different kind of shape. So I put the, my second layer first, and then I put the, my circle die cut in front of that, so that way I can see better. And then we can just uh, go run to the machine die cut together. Be right back. Okay, so that's how you get a perfect uh, circle layering, right? Okay, so that's my foundation card. And then I'm going to cut that piece of uh, watercolor paper and I'm going to just, uh, we, can, we can make a, that moon a little bit smaller, let's mm, see. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a little bit smaller. Yeah, so I'm going to just make this one. This one, the third circle is uh, one, two, three, four, four inches. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, cut a uh, watercolor paper. Okay, and next we are going to cut uh, this piece of acetate. So the acetate is actually a circle too. See? So that way we are able to turn, right? So this piece of acetate, the, the circle, have to be bigger than that white one. Uh, sorry, the red one. And then remember the red circle was uh, 4.5, right? So this circle have to be bigger than 4.5. So that's see, this is probably four, yeah, five. Okay, here is a great tip for you because uh, we are going to cut the material, right? Especially the acetate. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to cut the acetate. You can um, shimming it, they will do. But I'm going to show you a great tip, okay? So you're going to tape in your acetate with uh, just a reposition tape. And then you're going to grab a piece of just a regular scrap paper okay and then you're going to put it on top of your die cut so here is the acetate your die cut is on the bottom and then your acetate and then you are going to put a piece of scrap paper and then you put your the other cutting pad cutting plate on top so you run to the machine as soon as it, okay let me go around to the machine and i will be right back and explain to you okay so this is what it look like after you die cut it, right? When you um, it's a good idea that you um, kind of run through your machine few times and flip over. So as soon as when you see this uh, scrap paper is cut, that means your acetate is cut. If this piece is not cut, that means your acetate is probably still there. So just kind of, it's still attached somehow because it's acetate is kind of is a material, right? It's a little bit hard to die cut it, but uh, see, because I put that piece of scrap paper and then now I can easily cut down that. Give it a try. If you don't use that piece of scrap paper, sometimes they don't get a clean cut. Um, so just give it a try and I think this is a great tip. Um, okay, so that's the move to next. Almost there. So I have my foundation card and I have my two layering. I have my acetate and I have my background. There. So now, and I have all my butts here, my tree here, my birds there. I'm going to show you how I color uh, my my uh, my background. Um, actually, before we do that, I want to show you the other trick. Okay, so I have a some just some leftover uh, watercolor paper. It's good quality. And uh, I want to show you this uh, trick that you can use both. So you're going to grab a piece of cardstock and then you're going to put your die cut on top of this cardstock. Don't try to cut it, put the die cut directly like across the die. I want you to kind of leave a little bit gap there. So that way when you run through the machine uh, after you die cut it, I show you. Okay, so I place my die cut on top of it on the paper, not across the paper. One of the reason I do that because after you die cut it, this paper is still attached um, on, uh, untouched on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to use this one as a stencil. And then after you die cut it, 
this piece, we're going to still keep it. We're going to use it to decorate the or front page. So you get both of them. You can use this piece one, uh, this as a stencil, and then this uh, positive one we're going to use for decorate. And then for the inside, same thing. This one you can cross. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to... Okay, so this time, see those are border, border die cut because they come with uh, two die cut, two border, the detail one and the background one. So this time I am going to put my die cut across the paper, the paper here. Okay, try to guide it like use the par par parallel, kind of just eyeball it. And then I'm going to die cut it and I'll be right back. Okay, this time because my die cut is across the, my paper, right? So they will falling off. But because I want to create something, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a piece of regular, um, seeing, like a seeing through or tape. Okay, kind of just uh, go show you. We kind of create a beautiful border. Okay, let's do this. So even the... There you go. So you can just uh, um you can just use that as a piece of like a border die cut, or you can glue back and then make a beautiful layout. Isn't that awesome? So those uh, border die cut, I think is just uh, so pretty, and then you get the both die cut. Okay. Okay. Before we are moving to or like calling the background, actually we are going to do this because it kind of need a little bit time to dry. So I have my paper here. I have my acetate that circle here. And then here is what we're going to do. We are going to glue all the butts first because it kind of need the time to dry. So I'm going to just uh, um, use the uh, uh, white glue and then kind of just gently Put uh, all your animal around the around the circle. So you put the lizard circle on top of your red and uh, ochre circle. So that's kind of give you a little bit guiding how far you have to go. So do a little bit. And then if a little bit extra um, feet is off that circle, that's okay. Especially this draft, we have to trimming it. So just try to make sure you glue everywhere. Okay, so let's do this one and make sure that circle is on top of that red circle. So this and uh, my ostrich. So isn't that cute? This set is just so cute. Okay, and I'm going to do these. Okay, keep make sure, make sure your circle is on top of that circle. So in my lion here. Okay, lion is here and my elephant is here. So if you want more, you can actually have a more butt. Okay. And uh, my cute hippos. Do I have all the butts here or did I lost some butts? Okay. So I think that's good. Just make sure that circle is on top of that red circle. Make sure all your animals is uh, right there. Okay. And then you can wait. Um, before, before, like a way to do this when after it's dry, but I'm gonna just trimming it. So I'm gonna just trimming the extra. So just to follow that circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So just uh, kind of okay trimming it. It's very very easy. You just use that circle as your guiding. That's your wheel, right? Okay, so I'm going to make sure here is clean. Okay, so we're gonna leave this one and then wait until it dry. And then now we're going to working on the 
or background. For the background, in my previous tutorial, I was showing you, you can, let's take a look. You can, ooh, I think actually that's really nice. You can use this background. Should I do that? You know what? Let's try, yeah. I think that's, uh, what do you think? I think actually it's not too much. Or, I think this blue is really pretty. What do you think? Is blue too much? Mm. Let's see. Or, you know what? That's a stick with a orig uh, original, uh, original plane because I kind of find the background is a little bit too empty. I actually was planning to stamp his song happy birthday. But you get idea if you want to have the background like these, you can totally do it. Yeah, just find that maybe it's a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. Scrap paper. Okay, so that's working on our background. So the background, I have a few impact here. I want to make like a sunset color, right? So I'm going to start with the, the yellow color. And this time when you apply the color, you kind of use the side of this magic mushroom, kind of just rolling it. Okay, and then just be careful. I'm going to grab a, a piece of napkin because I always get like a dirty, dirty finger. Okay, so, and then you're going to kind of just uh, rubbing like uh, from the right to the left. And then you do have to ink your magic mushroom right to the left. Kind of want to really create the sunset looking. So right to the left. Okay, like I say, oh, magic mushroom is awesome because you push harder, they become darker color. When you release a little bit pressure, they become lighter. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then I'm going to use a little bit orange. Same thing on the side. Kind of use the side, kind of rolling it. Okay, and then find a place and always start on your scrap paper. Don't try to start on your um, car. Okay. Okay, just rubbing it. Okay, and then now we're going to use uh, red. I have some paper cut here. That's really painful. Have you get paper cuts before? Crafting is dangerous, you know. Okay, we're going to do some red color. Okay. And just do a little bit. And then if you want a darker color, make sure on the side. Oops happen, that's okay. Always try to fix your oops here. And this magic marshal is just awesome because uh, it can easily blend in it. And then I um I I had I had showing these kind of techniques with how to do a rainbow. So make sure you check uh, our online DVD library. There is too many different awesome tutorial to show you. You just see the car, eat the car you like, you just click the car and bring to the YouTube. Okay, and isn't that beautiful sunset color? Going to Africa for safari is on my bucket list. And in Egypt, I like to go to Egypt one time. What is on your bucket list? Okay, so let's do this. I think that's a really pretty, isn't it? Okay. And then one more thing before we do is we always going to use a kind of dark brown color and be careful with your fingerprint. Kind of just uh, give it a little bit touch around the border. 
to make a more like a 3D, but be very careful with the finger, your fingerprint. Okay, that's what it look like. And then remember this piece. Okay, so this one you probably is a, a little bit hard to see. I think I put too low. So I am actually going to put the high this time. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the black color ink pack. I'm going to get the black color. Where is the black? Black, 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 right here. Okay, just to make it interesting. So I'm going to just be careful, okay? So you're going to just uh, be very careful. Don't, you know, accidentally touch the place that you don't want to. And then holding your template steady, gently tap tap. See, I got some shadow in the back, in the still of a fingerprint. So, fingerprints are my biggest enemy. Okay, so that's uh, almost done. Let's see, let's just take a look first and see maybe if we want to add a little bit more. I think that's pretty good. Um, I was going to stamping some happy birthday, but I think I think this uh, happy birthday is probably a little bit too much. You know what? Why not? Let's just go for it. Okay. I am going to... Hmm, let's try it to see if this is too much or not. So this is what I do. I always use a piece of scrap paper. I don't really direct stamp directly on top. So I just uh, find a piece of cards that that color is kind of pretty, like a similar. And then kind of, I think it's good. I'm going to go for it. Okay. What's, because I want to kind of hide in my fingerprint here. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, this uh, VersaFine, my favorite ink pack. And because this is a script, right? First of all, you have to make sure it's uh, this is script in this direction. And then when I put my... This is just something that we got to make sure. I just poke two little dots so that way I can see when I put this one on top, my script and my, or you can do this first and then do that animal shading this part. So that way you don't have to worry. I don't know, maybe it looks ugly. That's the. I think that's pretty good. Okay, but we got to be careful because the verse are fine again. They dry slow, so don't. Well, um, I want to make sure we are going to. We're not going to smear. So that's what it look like, and uh, that's kind of look like this. How do you think? I think with happy birthday is much prettier, right? How do you think? Okay, so I am going to just uh, use this one to put it here. But uh, for my prototype, you can see I also have some shading here and I already show you how did I create that shading. You know what? Let's just do it. So. This template, once when you create it, you can use it again and again. So I'm going to do the black or darker purple. I think I was using black. Why not? Right? So just kind of tapping it. You know, those magic mushrooms is really awesome too. I really enjoy it because, you know, the blending is totally different with the brushes tip. I don't mean the brush tip is not good uh, tool. They all have a their purpose, purpose. Um, but uh, just the performers, this is a fast and easy. It just uh, works so well. 
Okay, see, I just create a little bit shadow there. Why not? It's free, right? So just do that. Okay, now I have my front page ready. I have at least one ready. And uh, here is what we're gonna do. First, we are going to, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to just use my orange. And then I hold the uh, the color well, so I'm going to just give a little bit shading. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to trimming it later. Okay, and then now we are going to going to show you the other trick. So we are going to cut uh, this part, so that way we can turn in our wheel, right? So. We are going to just uh, just have to be careful, okay? Don't don't cut that orchid, um, not orchid, the arch color, the dark orange, orchid, arch. What's that mean? Okay, brown yellow, <laughs> ochre, ochre. Okay, so I cut this one right, and then here is the other great tip for you. So you kind of put. your um the red layering here right and then you are going to use the pencil to mark and then remember you got to open it because i only want to cut the front i don't want to cut the back and then you use you punching this way so that way i can see that pencil line right so i put this way that I am going to get the perfectly lined up. Does it make sense? Okay, so now I am going to just mount my inside one first. I'm going to just uh, do this. And don't forget I'm still doing the car swap. I have the other sharing coming soon and uh, our local king's first car challenging it, the cutting line is going to be October 15. We are almost sold out or uh, feather treasure set. So if you like to join us, make sure you um, the special listing is going to remove soon. So if you like to join us, make sure you purchase uh, your set before October 15. And I like to say, once when this uh, um, event is finished, I am going to issue you $10 gift certificate. You can use it for purchase any other stuff. And that is a really, really good deal. So let's uh, put everything back to my drawer. And we are ready to assembling together. Just in case, I'm not sure my Versafine is dry. So just kind of blub, make sure. Because uh, I love them, but uh, they are just... Uh, I put a little leaves here because I actually accidentally squeezed too much glue over there. So that leaf is actually my, my, hiding, my hiding part. So I'm going to just glue this one first. And... Uh, it's a good idea to get those little squeak, uh, squeaky bottles because uh, a lot of the dye, they are very detailed. Um, you, there's no way the tape will do the job. Okay, so I am going to just mount uh, on my that red piece. I think it's a really, really cute car for your friend if you forgot the, their birthday. A little behind and uh, I'm going to just trim the extra and I'm going to show you the other great tip how we are going to find the center okay so that's what that's what's look like that's what it look like I think with uh, those script it looks much better what do you think I think that looks really awesome okay so next we are going to find we need a one little bread like this we don't even need a punch uh, tool so how to find out our center so this circle is uh, four inches by four inches right so you are going to need a ruler where did the ruler go okay 
So this uh, circle is uh, four inches by four inches, right? So you are going to use your your this uh, mat to have uh, those kind of goil line. So you're going to find uh, two inches and the two inches. Is that two inches? That's not two inches. Okay. No, see, I told you I'm the person, even though I'm used to ruler, <laughs> I cannot draw a straight line. Can you believe it? I went to the hard art school. Okay, so, but you get what I mean, right? So, okay, got it. Two inches by two inches, and here is going to be your point. Okay, so now we are going to put uh, or this circle and this circle. Like this. Okay. Try to try to put it in the center if you can. Okay, dokie. Okay. And then where is my punch tool? Okay. Remember that cross area? So you're going to do a circle. Not a circle, a punch. Can you see the the is here? Okay. And where is my bread? Bread is here. And then you're going to push the bread. Right? And then you just uh, kind of, you know what? Before we do that, actually, let's do a little bit more. You're going to use your poking tool, kind of make that hole a little bit big. So that way from the front and the, from the back poke. So that way they will turn. If they are too tight, they will not turn so make sure the hole is big enough and then you're going to put the bread inside and then you're going to just open it and then when you try to give a little bit space don't push too flat like this okay and then see it's turning okay now is something very very important i made a mistake, cost me a lot of trouble. So don't make the same mistake that I did. The first prototype when I did, that's why I have a lot of glue here because I was dumb dumb. I used the foam tape to tape everywhere. Bad idea. So what are you going to do is, you're going to put your clear wheel there, okay? You can only put the tape around this corner because we want this uh, wheel able to turn, right? So what I do is I'm going to just uh, grab my foam tape and I'm going to just uh, put the four, uh, four here. Even though you don't want to use the foam tape, that's okay. So just make sure your foam tape is not on the path of this uh, clear turning wheel okay and then now okay we are ready to roll okay so the next thing is we are going to put a lot of a tape on this uh, background okay and you are going to, it doesn't, uh, try to make sure your script is uh, horizontal. You don't want to have a crooked image. Okay, and then try to just uh, put it in the middle. Okay, and then you can kind of just allow, oh, I don't want to do that because uh, that was uh, my versa fine. Not sure, it's completely dry. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, and then now I'm going to remove my tape. I always try to remove two first and make sure they are in the middle. Okay, and then I remove the other two. They are so sticky, you know, so if they you glue, they glue. That's it. 
And where's my bird? Okay, my bird. Oh, my bird. I have still have a bird here. My three birds. First of all, they have a little bit white gap, right? If that bothers you, you just uh, just uh, give it a little bit color. And you can put the one bird on top of that bread, or you can decorate your bird any place you want. So let's see. I am going to flip over. So I have a, I have a, I have a three bird. So I think my second car is better than the first one. See, I am learning. This is very interesting. I am actually learning why I am creating this video. So thank you so much because you are watching and I have been approved myself. So I'm going to put my bird one, two, three. three. So this is my wheel car and then see all the butts is turning. I think it's really cute. If you find out, if you find uh, this corner is a little bit empty, you can put a, a, um, a leaf over there. And then I think, oh, tree. Where did my tree go? Tree, tree, oh, tree is missing. If you want to, I think putting the middle is kind of too much. I think putting the front is too much too. So I'm gonna just put the inside and then I have at least, uh, I'm a little behind. So, let's do these. Okay, parallel. Hoping they are straight. That was nice. And then again, we're going to use my glue here. See, I use every single piece from this uh, No Buts About It set. Is that awesome? And then I am going to actually one more thing. I'm going to just, uh, I think uh, the background with the happy birthday screen is much better, right? This one is just kind of a bit empty. Maybe I should put a moon or something there. But you get an idea. You can even use the technique from this, uh, this uh, tutorial to do that too. And I am going to decorate my, um, my envelope. I'm going to do that. Oh, awesome. Okay, so for my envelope, remember that piece I just cut, I am going to just, uh, I'm using this one as my backing. Going to go a little bit off the envelope. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a magic mushroom with this potter clay. And then I'm going to just uh, kind of dapping. It's so easy, but I think it's just so pretty. So just give it a little bit color here. Tap, tap. You can have a two, three color if you want to. Let's see what it looks like. I think that's very nice. Okay, and then Oh, something happened. I lost my person mark. Okay, in my previous tutorial, I was showing you how to stamp without a color block, but um, you can use uh, those uh, cutting um, cutting plates from your machine. The regular size, you sh they should fit just fine. But you got to find the one that they have uh, no those kind of cutting um, cutting mark. So I don't have one, and uh, I went to 
or local store, they, the, the store, they making the, those kind of sign. And then I met a guy, I said, I'm looking for four by seven a quarter block. He said, what do you need for? I said, I'm using for stamping. And then he just, I said, it does, doesn't matter anything, just have to smooth, it would be like a smooth surface it would do. He actually gave me one for free. He cut it and he sanded it. He's just so nice. So if you're looking for the acrylic block four by seven, uh, four, four by seven inches, I think the people who carry it is Robert Necker and they are like a twelve ninety nine. So check their website. We'll provide in the bottom of this video. And uh, they are the only company they carry this uh, acrylic block. I think it's good to have it if you have one. Um, but if you don't, just uh, try to use the see this plate. I think it's easier to find the cutting plates than the acrylic block. You can order from online, I think it's $12 for two, and then they fit all the um, sling line size stamp too. But the mine is really beat up, so the surface is not smooth, so they won't stick. Okay, and then so I did that, and then I'm going to just use my Versa, uh, Versa fine and my stamp is kind of dirty. So I'm going to just uh, rub, rub. Okay, and then my tree is there, right? I don't want to stamp there. Or when you apply um, your color, you can roll like a flip over. So that way your tree is going to be in the different size. So I think that's good too. Okay, so my tree is there. I don't want to stamp there. So I'm going to just uh, do a little bit off here. And then I don't want my animal is kind of like a cookie. So I always guiding with my, um, this uh, gold mat, okay. Just to give a nice firm press. I think that's really nice, isn't it? For the background. And uh, we can add a little bit extra stuff you want to. That's see if it's birthday card, right? So let's add a little bit birthday background too. So that will be, I want to this side. Just a half size. You have to leave some room for writing the address, right? Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's uh, today's uh, video. I hope you like it. And then remember, I'm doing the swap. You send me one car, I send you one car. And the recently, I've been working on all the new designs. So you might get a car that in one of my video. So this is Alisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. I hope you like today's video. If you do, make sure you give me a thumb up and uh, click like, let me know, and share this awesome channel with your friend. And uh, I am working on more tutorial and the or pre-order offer is uh, going to be in on the end of this October. It's a really good deal. After October 31st, we will start to put the regular price and we start to charge in shipping fee. Make sure you check those bundle. It's a really, really good price. Plus, here is a 20% off coupon code for all the regular prices only. This code cannot be used uh, for the 2024 new release or the this month's special. So this code is 20% off for all the regular price. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.